שלום. גם ארג'ובה. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining our meeting today. We are happy to introduce you our instructor Svetlomir Miroslav. He will be leading front-end programming course during this project. And today you will be able to learn more about his experience, overall information about the course and the certification benefits. If questions arise, feel free to ask them in the comments and our Georgian support team will manage to answer them. And now, Svetlo, some of students who are watching us know you in person, but most of our spectators don't know you. So please uh, tell our students more about yourself, your experience, and how many years have you been in IT? Oh, Grandma Joba, everyone. Hello to everyone first. Um, my name is quite long, but people just call me Leo. It's uh, easier to remember. And um, I have been part of this uh, first Nikita project. I've uh, teached four courses there. And uh, hopefully now we can do this again and make it uh, even better. I have been um, studying and working in the US for uh, quite a while. Then I decided to come back uh, in Bulgaria, make my own company and uh, work on many different projects, many different languages. Um, I've been in the field for uh, more than 15 years now, and I have been teaching for uh, about 10 years, uh, most of that experience uh, with the New Horizons team as well. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, this will be an offering for the front-end programming course uh, in, on the Git project. We already had three groups uh, from the first offering uh, of, of uh, this project. And now uh, we are looking forward for uh, the second one, uh, working with you and improving the course. According uh, to your personal observations, what is the uh, demand for such professionals? Is it high, low or rising? I would say that it is very high. Uh, one of the main technologies that we will be looking into during the course is called JavaScript. And uh, JavaScript is uh, almost everywhere. So uh, it doesn't matter if you have a, a website, a mobile application, even a regular application. And in some form, JavaScript is going to be there. So uh, knowing the basics is definitely uh, something that's required for you if you want to be part of the IT field. And then, as we're going to talk about a little bit later, uh, there are frameworks which are built entirely on JavaScript. And if you know some of those, that will give you even more opportunities into the field and uh, even more job offerings that you can apply at. Uh, please uh, tell us a bit more details about the course. What topics will be uh, covered and uh, what uh, practical exercises will be included? So the course will start with uh, some basic uh, JavaScript. Uh, and uh, this will be actually uh, the topic of the final exam as well. But uh, we will first uh, dig a little bit deeper into the JavaScript. And then a little bit after the middle of the course, we will start looking into some of the frameworks uh, actually, we'll probably focus on just one framework and mention the others, because we're not going to have uh, time for all of them. But uh, namely, those frameworks are uh, Angular, React.js, and Vue.js. Uh, during the course, we'll have a lot of uh, interactive um, exercises and, and lectures. And uh, you will also be creating a, a little project on the site, which um, is going to cover basically the topics that we're uh, studying during the course. And uh, this will not only let you get your hands dirty because if you want to write code it's uh, only watching is not going to do the trick but also if you do a good job on the project then uh, you can eventually include that into your portfolio into your cv and uh, that will give you a head start in front of other people once you start applying for your job positions uh, will uh, frameworks like uh, angular uh, vue.js react uh, be covered and how deep in the course as I said, yes, uh, they will be covered after we finish the first part, which will be the basics of uh, JavaScript. Uh, the plan for now is to focus uh, mainly on Vue.js uh, and create uh, some uh, small applications with it, get the basics, get the fundamental fundamentals. And at the very end of the course, we'll have uh, one lecture to just uh, mention what are the differences between that framework, Vue.js, and the other popular ones, which are uh, React and uh, Angular which I think is going to be a very good experience for you to give you a uh, good overview of those frameworks and uh, let you choose 
which one is best for you and now which one you want to pursue and uh, learn more about in the future. Uh, how would you define the prerequisites for this course? What skills uh, a potential student should have in order to get most, uh, most out of this course? So uh, one thing that uh, is required for you to know is the basics of uh, HTML and CSS. Those are the technologies that uh, basically stand on uh, in the browsers. Everything that you see on the browser is visualized using HTML and CSS. Uh, we are assuming that you know, uh, you have some experience working with them, you know a little bit about them, uh, because uh, when we start working with JavaScript, we will be working on top of uh, HTML and CSS um, pages that were created with those technologies. And uh, if you have some uh, basic knowledge in JavaScript, that will make it easier for you. But as I mentioned, we'll start that from the beginning and uh, build on top. So uh, HTML and CSS are the main prerequisites uh, for you to go into this course. And uh, from your personal point of view, why should our Georgian student select exactly this course? And uh, what are the benefits they will get at uh, completion of the course? So uh, let me start backwards. At completion of the course, you will uh, have the opportunity to take an exam and be certified, get a certificate. And uh, that is actually very important. The certificate is the CertiPort JavaScript exam. And as I mentioned earlier, the exam is entirely on JavaScript. It's not going to include the frameworks. The frameworks are just uh, for your own knowledge and uh, your own benefits. Now, uh, why you should enroll in this course, as I mentioned, uh, JavaScript is very popular technology. So uh, I would say that if you want to be the IT, IT field, almost every employer and almost every position is going to require you to have some knowledge about JavaScript. And in this course, you will actually learn more. You'll learn more about the, uh, the frameworks, which are widely used. There are a lot of positions which are just uh, Vue.js developer or React developer. Uh, so having that basics will uh, actually let you apply for such positions and pursue a career in the, the specific field. Thank you. Uh, tell me, tell us uh, a bit more about the exam. What kind of questions or something else about it? Uh, so this is a different exam from what we have in the first offering of the, of the course. Uh, so I'm not entirely familiar with how exactly the exam is going to work, but uh, it will cover all, all the basics. And um, one thing that I should mention here is that uh, the certificate is going to help you a lot because you just add it to your CV once you um, hopefully take it. And uh, that will put you in front of uh, other people applying for positions because uh, it will show that you know more about uh, these topics. Uh, in your opinion, how uh, will uh, this certification help uh, our students in their professional career? I think nowadays, especially, certification is very important because um, let's say you studied uh, this field in the university and you graduated there. Uh, it's a very rapidly developed field. So if a new technology occurs, there's new cutting edge stuff that you need to learn. It takes time for your university to adopt those new technologies, develop courses and so forth. While if you participate in a course like this, which just uh, offers the certificate at the end, those courses are much more rapidly developed. So they are out there much faster than uh, what you would get into the university. And uh, as a person who actually employs other people and looks at a lot of CVs and uh, stuff like that, I actually value more certificates because I know that uh, first the student was interested to participate into the course and put the effort into getting that certificate. And also, uh, depending on the topic of the certificate, it could be a much more recent topic that uh, universities do not cover yet. Uh, so if I'm looking at your CV and I see that you have a certification, that puts you one step ahead of people who do not have the certification. So uh, from a professional uh, career perspective, I think that certificates are very uh, important and very useful. And this course actually offers you the opportunity to get uh, one of those. And, uh, can you share your story when you are in the beginning of your career? How such uh, learning and certifications uh, influenced uh, your development? They were huge, actually, because uh, in the beginning of my career, I was a free well freelancer. So uh, I was working on a lot of different projects and uh, some of the technologies and the requirements that were involved in those projects, I simply didn't know about them. 
So I had to very quickly pick up those knowledge, those skills, and uh, I managed to find a lot of uh, online um, courses, which uh, sometimes they offered certificates, sometimes they didn't, but uh, they were the thing that allowed me to gain those not that knowledge that uh, eventually would allow me to finish the projects. So uh, certificate or not, the courses were a very important part in the beginning of my career. Certificates were just, uh, you know, the cherry on top of the cake, so to speak, because then you can include them into your CV. And um, when you apply for new projects or new jobs, uh, that gives you the cutting edge in front of everybody else. Uh, so I would say it's, uh, it's very important. And uh, hopefully this course will be important for you as well not only because you'll be getting a certificate, but the more important part is you're getting knowledge into the field, which you can uh, use later in on, on your career. And uh, what uh, can be, uh, what are the next steps for students after they uh, finish this course? As I said, this course is going to be focused first on JavaScript, but then at the end, although we're going to start working with frameworks, it's not going to be enough to become uh, proficient in this uh, framework. So the next step would be either to continue learning uh, Vue.js and uh, get delve deeper into that framework, or as I mentioned, we'll mention some of the other options that you have, Angular, React. Uh, so if you think that they're more suitable to you, you like them more, or your employer job position requires you to know them instead of uh, the ones that we're going to, to study, then uh, the next step would be finding more resources, more courses, more materials, maybe certificates, uh, on those uh, specific frameworks and uh, pursue them um, after you finish with this, with this course. Thank you very much, Seth Lomir, for taking uh, time to join us today and share your vision and experience with our students. Uh, we talk about the course, about the prerequisites and benefits. Uh, we hope that today's interview will help our audience to make the final decision whether this course is suitable for them or not. See you again in February when our trainings will start. Dear students, don't forget to apply for desired course before December 30 at uh, our website, ict.gov.g. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.